Hi Truthers, welcome back to my channel, Nutritious Lives and The Wellbeing Guinea Pig. Sorry about the appliances, they are going on because you know I'm in the kitchen again, so it's real life. I keep saying that, don't I? Today is another real life video and it's about balancing our energies. Hey there beautiful souls, I hope you're having an amazing day. I just wanted to tell you that I'm splitting this video up into part one and part two and this video is about balancing our female and male energies. I've um, talked and talked and talked some more again so it seems to be a running theme doesn't it me splitting these videos but I do enjoy it so I hope you get some benefits and you enjoy it too and I will see you in the next one. And really what conclusions I've come to within my own person, my own energetic centers, how it relates to the affirmations, manifestation, living our life authentically and in balance. So this is what I'm going for at the moment. Now I don't wanna to go too much on a tangent about how our energies in the last so many thousand years have been all upside down but i will just touch on the fact of where we are now so really our energies are all our female male energies are all mixed up and it's it's been quite confusing you know to to our bodies to our minds we don't know whether we're coming or going, sorry about that. We don't know whether we're coming or going. We tend to not be able to live in our authentic selves um, because we're so confused. There's so much anxiety, uncertainty, so much programming uh, that we, we take around with us, which I always talk about. But for the purposes of today, I'm going to try and keep it nice and short, but I'm not, these are non-scripted, so I am just talking from my, my heart, you know, and that's where I'm coming from. And before I start this, I just want to say, I'm not, I'm not bashing or targeting any individual. This is just a reality of where we are. And what we need to do to really understand and come back to balance, come back to healing, so we can be who we were always meant to be, right? And I know it sounds deep, but I am a very spiritual person. So be our authentic soul, the, the person that, or the, the soul that came into this life. It is deep, so I'll pray. But the soul that came into this life to actually experience love abundance, joy, instead of anxiety, uncertainty, living in, in an unhappy state, which is just so, so apparent to me, you know, I'm very sensitive and the more I live authentically who I am and who I was meant to be, the more that I, I see how sensitive I am to energies. And that's not that I turn because I, I, I wouldn't know how to control the, this feeling, the, the energy feeling before because I was so lost within my person. It would, it would make me more anxious. But now I understand and I'm learning more about my own um, authentic nature. The more that I'm, I'm sensitive to other people's plights hence this is why i want to do these videos this is why i became a life coach and nutritionist and and all the rest of it and, and whatever i'm gonna whatever beautiful scenarios i'm gonna manifest in in the future but getting back to the video and talking about energies and what i've really realized with regards to anxiety especially because you know from the previous videos i um, have suffered a lot with anxiety 
because of this very reason because I was so lost within myself and I, 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 I knew that our, our, my heart space was, was massive but I had no idea how to channel channel who, who I was channel this passion I was I was channeling it in the wrong way and what I know now is that I lived a lot of my um, my life in in a, a masculine state in my masculine energy and that wasn't who I was meant to be I I meant to sit predominantly in my female energy and I'm going to explain to, the, to you with this and so hopefully you can un understand because maybe I'm using words that you know um, are hard for you to kind of grasp but what happens is when we're living in an inauthentic state in our life we naturally go into male dominance um, again I'm a female so if this doesn't resonate with you as a male apologies because even the males like every male every female we all have a balance what is our specific balance to our female and male energy and it's wherever we sit on that but a lot of the time as I'm saying we're not authentic so we're not living where we're meant to live so for me as I say I was living very much in my masculine role and what that means is and what what I understand now is that when I'm anxious when something is over pressing on my mind I naturally flip into masculine energy I chase I pursue I'm searching and and, and I'm being so authentic, inauthentic to who I'm meant to be. So what I've realised, and I didn't, I didn't understand this on a, from an energetic point of view previously. What I understood it to be was that anxiety made me want to chase the answer. What's the answer? I need the answer. I need to get out of this state. I need to know. Right, so what I, what I understand is that I was doing that, but I didn't understand it from an energetic point of view, that I was putting myself in this masculine role that I was never meant to be in. And so I understand that now. And so what I've been working on is any time that I feel any resistance, any sort of anxiety that comes up within my life, I now understand that I'll put it in terms of energetic terms, female and male. So what I do is I go back and I get into my female state, which is pr predominantly where I'm meant to be. And the more that I learn about my female energy, my female side, specifically to me, and what you know, what my balance is the more that I feel so calm, relaxed, so um, connected. I am so connected with, with nature. I'm so connected with, with being in tune with what other people, their desires, where they are, how I can help, because this is what I'm here to do. So the more I, I understand that that is authentically me, the more I put my state in, myself in that beautiful state, the more happiness and, 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 it, and I, I'm allowing things to come to me instead of chasing. I'm putting myself in that state where I sit back and I allow, and I never did that before. So it, it's not an extended video, but what I want you to really understand is that you have this balance with your energies also. So if you start to feel this um, anxiety, and, it, and as, especially as a woman, it, if it makes you sit in that state where you want to chase the answers, you've got to know, you need to know. I mean, this could be, this could be even running after, you know, say, say for example, a love interest, an SP a specific person special person then if you're in this chasing state right you are in your masculine role and the the problem there is that the, the male should be the pursuer 
the male should be the one that, and I don't mean this OTT, I mean that that's the male's natural state to want to pursue a female. That is when that male is balanced, that is where...